everyone, thank you for tuning in. Welcome to my channel, my name is Wing and I just wing it. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own boom mic when you're making films. But before that, please consider subscribing to my channel if you're new here and if you like this kind of video. But if you're already a subscriber, welcome back, it's nice to see you. So let's go. So in filmmaking or making a video, you want to make sure that you capture a great audio because having a great audio is as important than having a great video. Let's say if you have a great video and you have an awful sound, people are not going to stick around and watch that video. Compared to having a great quality sound onto your video but your video it's not as great, then there's a tendency that your audience is going to stick around and watch that whole video. Now in order to capture that great audio for your talent, you're gonna have to have a shotgun mic aim at them and as close to your talent. As long as it doesn't show in the frame, now that's where the boom mic comes in. So I'm gonna show you how to make a boom mic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you all the equipment that you need uh, in order to make this boom mic. And this is how I make my boom mic. This is my version. You wanna make it yourself. I can give you all the affiliate links down in the description below so if you wanna check them out so I'm gonna show you all my equipments first and then we will put them all together so let's start with the mic that I'm using um, this is the Rode video mic it takes a 9 volt battery it is a directional mic or a shotgun mic so this one if you aim it to your talent when they're talking it just captures that it's not an omnidirectional where you capture all the surroundings so it just focuses on your talent so this is a great mic for your boom mic and you also have that um, a shock mount so if you mount it on the boom uh, on your boom pole and then when you're trying to move around it muffles or it depletes that rustles so you're not, you're not gonna capture all that when you're trying to move around and trying to follow your talent the shock mount is gonna prevent you from recording or capturing that rustles when you're trying to move around with a boom pole you're gonna have to have a dead cat with that so that it doesn't capture the wind noise when it's when you're filming outside so there you go all right and then of course you need a uh, boom pole so this one stretches out about 5.5 feet, it's about my height. So this is a uh, good enough length to use when you're following around your town when you're trying to capture that audio. All right, and then headset to monitor your audio while recording. Um, extension cables. Use this extension cable and run it to the pole and connect it to your um, field recorder. And then you're gonna have to have uh, some kind of uh, cold shoe mount to mount your microphone in. So let's go. And also, uh, sometimes I do uh, record directly with the uh, field recorders. If you are in a situation or in a location that you needed to capture some background noise while capturing your talent audio then I do use this H1N directly and also I use it with this uh, shock mount so I just put this one over here to prevent that when I, like I said if you're moving around and you're gonna have that rustle when you're trying to follow your talent with this boom pole and when you're moving your hands you're gonna capture all the rustle if you don't have a shock mount so you're gonna have to have this mount it on the field recorder and then put it on your boom pole so it prevent that uh, rustling noise so you're gonna have a smooth audio on your video all right so let's start here I have all the equipment that we need to make this boom mic. First we have our boom pole, our headset, 
a field recorder, a cold shoe mount, a shotgun mic, and audio extension cables and some zip ties or velcro ties. So first, what we need to do is to take this boom pole and extend it to its farthest length. All right. And I will explain that to you in a bit why I did that. First, we need to run our extension audio cable throughout our pole. And we need uh, some kind of rubber band or a velcro or zip tie to tie it in place. All right, so here we are. I have run the extension audio cable through the whole pole. All right, so I have put it I have tied it with the rubber band over here at the other end and then zip tie it over here at the middle and then zip tie it to the other end. Now the reason why I pulled the boom pole to its farthest length and then installed the cable because in any situation that you need to shorten your boom pole and when you do this the cable will dangle. Alright so you can just do that and then velcro it, adjust the cable's length, and you're good to go. And then if you needed to lengthen your pole again, there. All right, so you don't need to readjust all your uh, cables, um, places, or ties. All right, so the next thing we need to do is to attach this boom mic in the tip of the boom pole. But before we do that, we need to mount some kind of cold shoe. So I have this cold shoe mount and just screw it in. There you go. All right. And then just mount your shotgun mic. Lock it in place. Make sure you tighten it up. Everything is tight so that it doesn't go anywhere. Just give it a little shake. So you make sure that it doesn't fall off. All right, tighten again. Then you connect this plug to the female plug of this audio extension cable. Now we just need to attach or mount our field recorder over here, which is my H1N. So I use the rubber band to hold the field recorder in place because it's much easier to take it out and put it back in and it actually holds much better than the zip tie or the velcro zip tie because sometimes it just slip and fall it doesn't hold very well so i have the rubber band to hold that one but if you find something like a, a clip that would hold the field recorder in place that would be much better but for now i am using rubber band and then you take this cable over here and just connect it to your field recorder. Boom. All right, so far we have the field recorder installed to our boom pole, to our cable, running it through our shotgun mic. Now, the last thing we need to do is take this headset and connect it to our field recorder to monitor our audio. So attach it over here and we just need to turn everything on and test it out if it works. So that's that. I have my headset. I'm just gonna put it on and then run some tests if it's actually working. So you gotta turn on everything. Turn this on. All right. Let's turn it on. Then you're gonna have to turn on your mic. Go. Now the thing, it's lit green, so it's ready to go. And then I'm just gonna put on my headset. Make sure that it's running on test mic, test mic, one, two, one, two. All right, so I can hear the sound coming from the mic through my headset, so you know that it's ready to go. And you have yourself a boom mic. Alright right, guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you find this useful if you are looking for or try to build a boom mic for yourself. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to notify you every time I upload a new video. And once again, thank you for watching. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!